first solution is to uninstall the MyBin Locker using Control Panel or the Settings. Right click on the Start menu and you, you will find Control Panel option in Windows 8 or 8.1 or you can open the Start menu, click on Settings, go to Apps and then uninstall the software from the list which is MyBin Locker or you can press Windows R, type appwiz.cpl and hit enter. This will bring up program and features window. Select my win locker and click on uninstall. You can follow the on-screen instruction in the wizard to completely uninstall the tool. You have to restart your computer and then you'll be able to see if the tool is completely removed or not. The second solution is to uninstall the tool in the safe mode. Click on start menu, then click on settings. In the settings, click on click update and security. Click on recovery. And then click on restart now in the advanced startup segment. wait for the computer to restart it will ask you to choose one of the option uh, to continue troubleshoot or turn off click on troubleshoot in troubleshoot select advanced options in advanced options select startup settings click on restart when you are asked to Now you will be presented for, with the startup settings. Press F4 to continue with the safe mode. Let the windows start. Log in with an administrative account. Press Windows and R keys, type appwiz.cpl and then press OK. In the Programs and Features window, select My Win Locker and then click on Uninstall. Follow the wizard and then restart your computer. The next solution is press Ctrl Shift and Escape. In the Task Manager, find out My Win Locker. right click on it and go to details kill the my the mwl tsr process right click on it and select end task now restart the computer and see if that makes any difference now press windows plus r and type appwiz.cpl hit enter Select Win Locker and click on Uninstall. You will need to restart your computer again and see if the application is removed. The next solution is to open Control Panel. Change the view to large or small icons. Click on Security and Maintenance. Click on Recovery. In the Recovery option, click on Open System Restore. Now, if you have any System Restore point available in the history, it will be presented with the selection. Check any of the Restore point and click on Restore. Process is simple. You can follow the on-screen instructions to restore your Windows. 
The next solution is to press Control Shift and Escape, find out the My Win Locker process, and kill it. Once you have killed the process, go to C Program Files x86 EGIS Tech IPS folder and EGIS Tech My Win Locker folder. Delete both of the directories and the contents in the directories. You can delete the folders themselves. Delete both of the folders and their directories. Once these are deleted, search for the files which are related to MyWinLocker or EGIS. Use the search bar in the explorer to search EGIS or MyWinLocker. Delete everything that you find related. Be very careful when you, when you are deleting the files. Make sure these are related to EGIS or MyWinLocker. Then press Windows and R, type reg edit and then press enter in the registry navigate to h key current user and software take at export before changing anything uh, click on file and then click on export save the registry key and then move to h key current user software and perform a search for egis or myvin locker Repeat your search and keep deleting the entries which are related to MyWinLocker or EGIS. Delete all the entries and then restart your computer. See if the application is completely removed. Go to HK local machine, perform the search again, and delete everything that you find related to MyWinLocker or EGIS. Once you have deleted all the related keys, restart your computer and check if the issue is resolved. Now press Control Shift Escape and then go to Startup. If you find EGIS or MyWinLocker, right click on these entries and click on Disable so that they don't get started on the next system restart. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.